Hi, I'm Melissa. I know many of you are starting to look for digital resources to share with your students during this time of distance learning. Today, I wanted to share with you one of my favorite resources to share with students, Boom Cards. Boom Cards are the perfect resource for you to share with your students during this time of distance learning because with each submission, students are going to be able to receive automatic feedback. And as a teacher, you're going to be able to look at your whole class in one snapshot. You're going to be able to drill down to the assignment and look at the most missed question. And you're able to look at the students individually. Unlike Google resources, you're not going to receive a million questions from your students. Where's the assignment? How do I turn it in? I deleted it by accident. I deleted the text box. Boom is the perfect resource for you to share with your students during this time where you can't be with them. So in this quick tutorial, I want to show you how to set up a Boom account, how to create usernames and passwords if you are not integrating with Google, but that is super easy, um, and how to create your first assignment to share with students created a Boom Card account, you are ready to get started. So everything that you need to get started is in this blue margin up at the top. So I want to show you how to create a classroom, how to add students to your classroom, how to personalize it, and add your first assignment. So right now we're going to click on this blue bar at the top and click Classes. And I already have some classes set up, so we're going to create a new classroom. If you are importing through Google Classroom, meaning you already use Google Classroom, you already have a classroom on Google Classroom, you're going to click right here. But I am going to create a new classroom. It's called 5th grade math class 4. I'm going to change that name and I'm going to call it demo class. You would call it first block or science or math, whatever it is that you're teaching. You can personalize that right there. Now, if you don't have to worry about the students seeing the other kids in their classroom, you can share this URL and paste it wherever you are sharing your communication. However, if you share it this way, they'll be able to see everybody in their classroom. I typically don't share out my classroom that way. Instead, I create a classroom on Boom Learning and I add many students. So I'm going to create some generic names for my family. And I'm going to create a default password and you'll see how quickly these four students will be added into my Boom classroom. So I click Add Students, there's all four students. Now if you look underneath their name, the usernames are not very friendly. They're not going to remember that. So if I click directly on the word username and the name that's next to it, I can personalize this. So I'm going to put Dave G5. And that is now his username. I can do that for all of the students. And since I have that generic password, it's really easy to share out. So if you are not integrating through Google, this would be the perfect way to share out the usernames. So what the students would see, if I go down here, when they pull up Boom Learning, they're going to click on the green student sign-in. This part's important. Since we're not using Google, we need to sign in with Boom. So Dave's username was Dave G 5 His password was ABCD. This is what Dave sees. There are no assignments. So what I'm going to do is in this classroom, I'm going to click on the word assignments. Everything that I've downloaded from the Boom Store is going to be available, but I have to click assign more decks. If you've not downloaded any free resources from the Boom Store, now's the perfect time. So I'm going to click on assign more decks and I'm going to click on some decks that I want them to work on. I'm just going to pick these first three. So now when Dave goes into his classroom and he clicks refresh, everything I want Dave to work on is right there. Now let's say that Dave needs to work on some uh, things that are on his level. I'm going to click demo class. 
I'm going to click on the word students. I'm going to click this blue button right here. And I'm going to click assign because Dave is advanced and he needs to work on some fifth grade algebra. I'm going to click on these buttons right here. And now Dave will see assignments. Let me click report. Dave will see all five of these assignments, six, six assignments, and Easton won't see those. Easton only has those three. So you can see how easy it is for me to personalize assignments on Boom Learning. So once again, you can assign or give them access to their classroom by copying that URL. Or if you want to make it private and they can't see the other students in their classroom, you can add many students and then click on the username and personalize it. Another great way that's really quick that you can share out anything free that you've downloaded, which does not require you to set up usernames and passwords, you can click on the word library. This is if you've created an account and you've downloaded some free resources. Everything that you've downloaded will pop up right here. If you click this blue action button, you click the word fast pin. You're going to generate a new pin and you can copy this right here. You could go to Chrome. You can paste that URL and the kids are now able to play whatever you have downloaded without asking them to sign in. However, with this way, you're not going to be able to see their reports, but if you just want them to practice, that is a great way. Another thing you could do is you could just give them this pin. They could go over to boomlearning.com, click the word fast play, and they would only type in those four things and they will see the same thing. So if you don't want to take the time to set up a classroom or worry about sharing out the classroom usernames and passwords, you can go directly from your library, click the blue action button, and click fast pin and share out the fast pin for the students. However, you won't be able to access the reports available for the students that way.